Here from Cape Town. So Mariska, very emotional testimony from family members today. As you say there, Francis, indeed, very, very emotional. You know, you go to court and you listen to the horrific details of murders and rapes of women and children, and you forget that there are family members that are left behind. And once again today, we saw the reality of that when Hannah's father, Willem, who was also a magistrate, um, testified of the impact this had left on him. And the most, most poignant part of, of the impact that he says is that um, his family is absolutely devastated. Him and his son, his son actually has autism and doesn't really understand what happened. He says him and his son are barely surviving and they have absolutely no hope and joy in their life at the moment. He also told the court that he cannot practice as a magistrate anymore, that he is receiving psychological care for the past year and a half, and that he's also on medication as a result of this horrific attack. Um, they also lost Hannah's mother in March this year when there was a drowning incident. So this was really a family that was horribly struck by trauma and terror as a result um, of this horrible, horrible crime. Uh, because Willem also said that uh, he doesn't believe that his wife committed suicide, but on that day that she went out for a swim and she happened to be a very good swimmer, when she walked into the ocean, she simply didn't have the physical and emotional strength to get herself back to shore. So the impact of this is greatly felt by those that are left behind indeed. Also her aunt, Professor Eleanor Cornelius, uh, she actually called the four men that were convicted monsters. Uh, and the first three, the, um, uh, Vernon, Witboy, Geraldo Parsons and Eben van Niekerk, she said they are monsters and they are not men because no man would take from a woman that she wouldn't give freely. And she actually said that if they had lived in other countries, they would have received the death penalty for the horrific crimes they have committed. So yes, Francis, it's, it's definitely, it was an emotional day in court today. There was barely a dry eye in the house and the four uh, men found guilty of this crime actually hung their heads. So, yes, it was very emotional in court. Yeah, what a horrific fallout. What sort of sentence are they likely to get on Monday? Well, all of them have previous con convictions that relate to theft. Um, uh, actually, one of the accused um, has a criminal record that stretches back to when he was a child. Um, so uh, we are definitely looking at severe punishments. Actually, accused number three, uh, Eben van Niekerk, uh, because he is currently serving a sentence for robbery with aggravating circumstances, uh, the prosecutors ask that he gets a minimum sentence of 20 years. So they are definitely looking at life sentences, all of them. And actually, um, uh, Ahana Cornelius' aunt, uh, Eleanor, said that they should, be, uh, uh, they should spend the remainder of their lives in prison, which was more that was than was granted Hannah when she was murdered. Um, and she says they should never be allowed to walk free in society because she believes if they get parole in 25 years, another family will have to come testify about the horrors that they would have to face as a result of what they may do again. All right, we'll follow that sentencing on Monday. Thank you very much, SABC reporter Mariska Boucher.